Welcome back to Let's Play Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. In the last episode, we trekked through the the ancient ruins underneath the city of Neo New York, Neo New New, brand new, spanking new New York, opening next week, and we discovered the tomb of. Uh, LeBron James and found Robot or Vince Borg? I, I don't know. This game is slowly destroying me from the inside. So now, we're going off to trek through the places and, uh, to, oh. Oh, well, this just became a whole new thing. This is the Zobbers. Uh... Let's see, what do I want to use? I'm out of, um... Guard down. Fine. Okay, what do you do? Move damage. Move the target with the direction keys while attacking to switch targets. Okay. That's kind of neat. Ah, no! Glaucoma! Can I give you something? Single cure all. Sure, have some tobacco. Eat it, punk. Yeah! That actually does a lot of damage if you just center it on one target. Ow! That actually did some pretty good damage. Okay, um. Have that. Hey! Oh man, we did it. So if I run to the same enemies, I'm gonna cut it out. Cut out battles. Um, hey, new enemy though. Baldroid. Okay. Okay, do I have a thing that can attack multiple enemies here? Zeta Flash might be good here. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Turn order, minus 20%. That's some good stuff. Uh, getting ahead of your enemies in this game. In any game, any turn-based game, actually. It's pretty good. Uh, free throw was a normal action key. Pass. Very high damage. Hold and release the b-ball lines up. And oh yeah, that's right. That was that. Sure. Damn! Okay, you know what? Oh, you- these guys have no health, so... Vince Borg is gonna be great. Oh, and then he blows up. Alright! 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 This is so dumb. I don't... Right here, take that. Let's just continue. And fight you! Oh, hey. Well, this is gonna be easy. Dead. Really just want Vince Borg to get his turn. Oh. That's right, I get two shots with a free throw. That was good. That's a lot of experience, holy crap. That was a quick enough battle that I don't need to cut that out either. Um, alright. Let me just move my microphone for a bit here. Uh, I want to make sure I I can get as good, audi as good audio quality as I can 
Can I get in here? No. This makes me think of, like, old... The way that this game is set up makes me think of old, old, old... Actually... <gasps> but there's treasure. A chicken do? You know what? I would not be surprised if that's a real thing in the future. Chicken flavored Mountain Dew. Unless that's supposed to be like Chicken Dew, like, um. Actually, you know what? Let me look at it. The Dew of a Chicken Fry. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's do. that. Hit him as hard as we can. I want to get rid of that guy. Dang. Whistle, no! <laughs> Alright. Oh, shit. I didn't do that right. Yay. Yay, I killed him. I did it, guys. I can defeat that. Why am I. Why? I just realized that I shouldn't be showing this fight because. I really don't need to. There's gotta be like a weak point on each boss, though, or each enemy, to do more damage. Dang. Stop. That took him out. <clears throat> awesome. Awesome stuff. Ugh, jeez. We can go this way now. Alright. Oh, yeah! So something interesting about um, how this game does animations and stuff, um, enemies blow up or die differently depending on which character killed them. So that's cool. Okay, I just skipped ahead to all that. Uh, through all that. Can I use these? Oh, it's just stuff. Ah, oh, that, that's right, that is, that is me. Permanent VP plus that. Well, let's give it to Vince Ford, because he's got the most health anyway. Alright, we're out of Ecto Cooler, so I might want to go back and get some more. Let's do that, sure. <clears throat> if not because I actually don't want to lose this game, I find it a little weird that a lot of money goes into buying... Uh, this sort of stuff. I don't know if there will be, like, weapon shops later or not, but, um, probably. Come on. Yeah! Okay. Ah. Uh. Halt! Who are you, and why are you here? What? What are you? Charles! Heh, <laughs> I can forgive your ignorance. This time, I am a human being just like you. But I have shed the entrapments of my human form, and have embraced my animal side. 
on the surface, I was called Aaron Barber. Oh my freaking god. But here I am known as Atheo Silverwind, Vulture Master of the Night. We moved here because of the per persecution up above. We never knew that they would hurt us like, they, like that after the surgery. Surgery? Oh, you're those goddamned animal people, aren't you? Barkley! I apologize, Sir Atheos. We're travelers looking for the Cyber Dwarf. I have heard he lives in this village and we need to see him. Cyber Dwarf? Hmm. Ah, the newcomer. Yes, he lives here, but we hardly see him. He's a real recluse, and I don't think it's because he's ashamed of his appearance. We don't judge here. Get out of my way. I'll... I'll be watching you. What's this? Huh? Me over here. Come here quickly. I am in dire need of your assistance. The hell do you want? Just... Just look at her over there. Who? Who ask? Who, you ask? Who? Is it not apparent of who I speak? Is her beauty not visible to thine eyes? Does her countenance not violently stir the deep dark waters of thine soul? I assume you're talking about the well? Forgive me for this... Fox. Over that way? Not a fox, per se. Rather, a kitsune. A fox spirit, one could say put it simply, if somewhat inelegantly. Oh, in that case, no. I see. Then it's just I on whom she has this intoxicating effect? That sounds about right. Anyway, do you really need help? I hope for your sake you didn't call me over here for this shit. Oh, yes, yes, as you have no doubt surmised, I do indeed love this woman. Jay Lindsay is her name. Unfortunately, she is unaware of these feelings I hold for her. I have written her this poem, you see, and I was wondering if you gentlemen could deliver it to her. I have tried time after time, but alas, I choke each time without fail. So if you could just walk this over to her and say it's from me, I would really appreciate it, sirs. Sure, I would be glad to help. I thank you so much. Just take this over to her in return. I'll have a reward for you when you come back. It's not much. We don't have anything of particular worth here in Cesspool X. But I have some Neo-Shekels saved up. I hope that will do. We appreciate your generosity, Eric. And I yours. At any rate, here is the poem. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me, Balthios? We don't got time for this shit. It's a damn love letter from a snail. If I recall, even a certain man with a far thicker shell than he wrote a few love letters in his time. Fine. Let's get this over with. Hurry up. Sure. But first, are you wondering at all how the poem goes? Nope. It just fascinates me. Anthropologically. How exactly is a love letter between a man surgically altered to become a snail and a woman altered to become a fox written? If... It, if Charles, I decided to say, open it, you would... I'm not going to tell the damned snail. I wonder if it reads like he talks. Stir the deep dark waters on your soul and all that shit. Just listening to him talk was bad enough. Well, here we go then. Perfect was our love. True was our passion. One touch from your beautiful hands left me feeling smashing. Hmm. Tough break. Your snail friend's fucked. Charles, we need to do something. We cannot allow her to receive this letter. It's what he wrote. It's on him. Let it, let's go. I can't do that, Charles. We are in a bit of a hurry, however. So if that's what you would like to do, so be it. Deliver the letter. I just think it to, to be a bit needlessly cruel. I was thinking we could help Eric out. I do not wish to tell him we read his poem and if we could entirely avoid the conversation regarding its quality. I think that would be for the best. I was thinking that perhaps we could rewrite his poem for him. It would not be difficult to write something better than this, but it's up to you. Let's rewrite it. Why not? Damn it. I guess we'll rewrite it. If I didn't, you'd just bring up some more shit about me writing poems for Marine, wouldn't you? Huh. Perhaps. That's good, though. First thing we should do is ask the Kitsune some questions. Find out what her interests are, her likes and dislikes. Where's the fox? Is that a, is that a bear? Uh. OOC once? I gotta get those Nike. Are 
you the fox? You're Jay Lindsay, right? Why, yes, that's me. And what's your name? Barkley. And this is Balthios. Well, hello then, Barkley. Hello, Balthios. Welcome to Cesspool X. It's a tiny little town, but I hope you guys enjoy it here as much as we do. Thank you. We appreciate that. Well, listen, we're new here and wanted to get to know some people in the town. Could we maybe ask you a few questions and see what you're all about? Sure thing. I love getting to know people. Great! Okay, then. Uh, Barkley here will ask you a few questions. Bring them on. Okay, uh... I think I'm interested in what most of my friends here are interested in. Animals. I love animals so much. As you can see, I even wanted to become one. That's how much I love animals. I love petting animals and talking to animals and being nearby animals. Also, I am a kitsune, so I enjoy hunting animals. I do not eat them. I am a strict vegetarian. I love animals too much, but I am a foxy, and what foxies love to do is hunt. So I like to find little animals and sneak up on them and pounce on them and wrestle with them and then let them go. I love animals so much I even love hunting animals nicely, though. Uh, what am I like? Hmm, that's a tough one. Just kidding. I am like a person that likes animals. A lot. Back when I was a norm, like yourself, way back before the... But the uh, oh the beeball, it's not b ball nah. it's beeball knocked. I worked at a zoo. I was a really nice. It was a really nice one. I felt so bad about the animals being in cages, but I just loved them so much, and it was the only place I could see them. So in retrospect, I am definitely sorry about working there and perpetuating that terrible industry of animal slavery. But I loved working there while I was working there, and because I love animals. Oh oh my god. Okay, shut up. Question B, how should be how do I love Cesspool X? And I would say a lot. I love Cesspool X because there is nobody to hurt us down here, and I also love it because there are so many people like me down here. People like Frank and Zalatar and Chip, and like Eric. People that share my ideals and viewpoints and passions, but most of all, I love Cesspool X because so many people down here are really, really good friends. Thank you, Jay Lindsay. You've been a great help. You're welcome. Helping is one of this Kitsune's favorite things to do. I hope that information is enough to write a halfway decent poem with. Let's retire elsewhere and compose this. Hurry up, you've been writing that for an hour. Patience, Barkley. Good arts take time. I might as well show you what I have, however. Here you are. Hark, I call upon thee, Noose, to grant me thus the ability of all great bards, that is, to use your gifts in poetry. O oh, Muse, grant me words as that. I need to speak of such beauty as she. I am in bondage, aching to be freed by the beauty I speak of, Jay Lindsay. Honestly, Balthios, that is probably worse than left me feeling smashing. I haven't written in a while, I apologize. Don't worry, if we can just fill it with that shit we learned she's into, she'll probably like it more than the other one. I hope so. Anyway, after this I have a few fragments I need some help with. I have the beginnings of some lines, but you need to make suggestions for the end. Data analysis complete. Huh? What do you want about, Vince? I have compiled the information gathered from Jay Lindsay, ready to assist in poem creation. You actually listen to us talk about that shit? Correct. Vince, can you step away for a moment? Affirmative. Barkley, I don't mean to put Vince down or anything, but what now? He's a robot, Barkley. I don't think he knows anything about love. So take any of his suggestions with a grain of salt. Whatever, let's get this over with already. Alright, Vince, any suggestions you have are appreciated. Here's the first part. I ask that she envelops my fragile heart, and with her magic mends its cracks. I ask that we grow old, never apart, and that she... That is where I'm stuck, so tell me what you like here. I ask that she envelops my fragile heart, and with her magic... Mends its, mends its cracks, I ask that we grow old, never apart, and that she... enjoys hunting small prey. <laughs> um... I want to say caresses my body to help relax. Or with her hands massages my back. But relax rhymes better with cracks. And... I don't know. I guess that one. And that she caresses my body to help relax. Hmm. 
Sensual and slightly erotic, without being too overt. That works. Okay then. Now after those first three stanzas, A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, and E, F, E, F, I will, as is fitting according to the hallowed traditions of the post-cyber-apocalyptic sonnet, I conclude with two couplets of G, G, and H, H. I really don't give a damn about how poetry works, but go ahead. Uh, Alright. Never before have I met one so fair. Or who... Lives so freely without a care, is so fearless toward any dare, has such beautiful flaxen hair, does not mind animal feces much. By the way, is that the fucking shark from Hanna-Barbera up there? I just realized that. Oh my god. The Hanna-Barbera cartoon? I don't know. I don't remember his name. Um... Does Flaxen refer to the fox thing? That's not awful. Her hair doesn't really seem flaxen, but I think in the case of animal people such as her, it would be fur as opposed to hair. I suppose it does rhyme, though. We'll use it. Okay, finally, this is the last line. More than wonders of the world, I love her... Majestic... Uh, I guess like flags unfurled when she danced. Did she? She didn't mention dancing. Let's go through the poem again. All right, let me let me just choose what what did he do? Caress my body to help relax. That was the one he liked. Uh, let's do who lives so freely without a care. A tolerable line, man. Baltheos, what the heck? Oh my god, okay. God damn it! I don't, he doesn't like any line. I'm not using Vince's lines because they're dumb. But. I love her, so she should be duped for Earl. Jesus! I can't! Okay, let's do that one. I'm really particular about this kind of stuff. You know what I like the best? Probably, I love her more than wonders of the world. I love her. We're going with it, whatever. I don't care anymore. Hey. Yeah, because you guys are, are dumb. 
Apparently nothing worked. Oh my god. Well, you know what? That is going to be it for this episode. We'll be back. It's gone on too long. We'll come back for the next time on Charles Barkley's Shut Up and Jam Guide. And oh my. You people are the worst. You, you people that I'm traveling with that I can't face because you keep getting behind me. That'll do. See you later, beatballers. <laughs>